Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I want to talk about this very interesting knife from uh, GearBest. This is part of the knives that they sent me to try out. Uh, this is the uh, Sangia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. S-A-N-J-I-A. -A. Um, and I believe they call this the mechanical uh, folding knife, or it's also known as the K8009 model. And it's extremely interesting. I think it's really cool, and especially for the price. They charge less than five bucks for this, four dollars and change. Um, so, first off, there's a little safety on the side here, okay, so you flick the safety off, and you can see how this actually folds open, and it kind of pressure fits, you know, open, I don't want to say locks, because technically, there's no lock on this knife, okay, so you can have this in other countries where you cannot have a locking folding knife, alright, but that's basically it, alright, very interesting uh, blade shape on here. Definitely a little bit of recurve, curves back down towards the front there. Nice point on it. The blade on this is a 3CR13. Okay, actually the metal you know, handle here is a 2CR13. Um, not the best deal in the world, but it's also under $5. The reason you'd buy this thing is not because you're looking for that next best EDC option. It's gonna you know, cut a million cardboard boxes at work for you before you have to sharpen it. Certainly not the one. You'd get this 100% for the gimmick of how this thing works which is why I got it. It's actually why I picked it. Um, this is one that I wanted to try out. I'm kind of late to the party. This has already been talked about uh, on YouTube before by a bunch of different people. But uh, I thought it was really interesting when I first saw it. Uh, I knew eventually I'd want to try one, had the opportunity to get one from GearBest, and now we have it. After I use it a little bit, I have an opinion on it. Um, so first off, again, how this works, there's no lock. But if you give a firm grip on the handle here and push forward with your thumb, it kind of unlocks it. I don't even want to use the word, but it, it unclips it, okay, because this, again, it's just pressure fit. Just a piece in there. It's not actually locking anything, all right, but it's a strong click. It doesn't want to fold very easily, all right, but a little pressure on the spine there, and it will fold, okay, and then you can close it and put that safety back on. Now, how the safety works, as you can see on the base of the blade there, that little notch, okay, when this is in the closed position, there's a steel plate underneath this plastic button and as you slide forward it literally is just locking in underneath that okay just preventing it from the whole thing from opening okay it only locks closed it does not lock open you can move the piece but it doesn't do anything it actually prevents it from closing properly so let's look at this closely again to see how this works take the safety off you can see there's a channel cut in this blade here okay and the actual handle here you can see those little washers the handle itself is in contact with that blade the entire time. So as it runs down the channel all the way to this position here, as you close this, obviously the shape of the handles line up, it kind of clicks in place, and now we have our open knife. All right, pretty cool. Now you can do it slowly, or you can do it a little bit faster, okay? Flick that off, flick the thing open, and you have it kind of ready to go, all right? So slow or fast, it is super fun to play with, uh, there is a pocket clip on here, as you can see. Okay, a lot of knife sticks up out of the pocket. So the first thing I noticed when I carried this was how much actually sticks up. But here's my biggest gripe as far as actually carrying and using this. And this is what I did, and I almost cut myself. So you can see it's positioned in a, I guess you could call this a, a tip up right side, right? Um, so this is how it's clipped, you know, looking down is like a, a first person perspective, reaching down in the pocket, Lifting this out, this is the grip you have on it, right? So as soon as I flicked that safety off, pushing down on the safety off is going to want to open this up. And guess where that blade edge is? <laughs> right there on my hand, okay? Not good. I did this twice. First time I really almost caught myself. Second time I caught myself. But again, you're taking it out of the pocket like this, okay? And if you were to... Like, you know, a normal knife you're used to opening, instead of using a flipper or a thumb stud or whatever, you're taking that safety off, but again, putting pressure down, opening the knife and literally sliding it against your hand. You see that blade edge? So not good. So I had to train myself to take it out of the pocket here, hold up here, like literally change my grip. Then when this is, you know, clear away from my hand, I could take that safety off, flick it open, and then just squeeze together to kind of lock it and I have to emphasize the quotes on that lock part that I'm saying because there is no official lock on this okay it's not a locking folder however depending on where you live 
you know, maybe someone will determine it's a lock. Technically it's not, but you know, every person's different. If you happen to be stopped by a police officer somewhere in the world um, and they think it's a lock, then that's all that really matters, right? You know, you could still get arrested, I suppose, in, in certain places around the world, but there is no lock on this. So yeah, extremely interesting design. As a knife, you know, cutting and stuff like that, the design's not that bad as far as the blade shape and, and the size isn't all that bad either. Um, however, it, of course it doesn't hold a great edge. The 3 Sarah 13 is soft. This thing is not, I don't want to say dull, but it's not going to cleanly slice your paper after using it a little bit. I didn't strop this up or anything. Didn't sharpen it. Uh, in fact, I, I probably won't even sharpen this. I'll end up doing a trade or giving this away or something. Or just keep it in the collection just because it's a cool, interesting piece. But under five bucks, um, blade length on here is 2.3 inches. All right, and again, the only reason you get with something like this is just for the novelty factor. It is really cool. I mean, if you're one of those people that like showing off knives to your, your friends and family and you're, you're a collector and you like collecting unique different things, this has to be in your collection. All right, so again, pop that safety, grab the top piece here, flip it out, give it a squeeze, and there you go. All right, and what's nice too, First grip's okay, is that your grip here literally helps facilitate that knife from closing. It's not going to close no matter what, okay? Even, even if you put a lot of pressure on the back here and it starts to fold, you're gonna pinch your finger way before you cut it, okay? That edge is still away from your finger, you understand? So it cannot close while you're holding it. It can open up, let's say, or break free but it's not going to close in your fingers or anything. So you do have a nice, you know, safe folding knife design. But, uh, but yeah, it's really cool. You know, easily operable with one hand once you get used to it. Don't like the clip position, just again, for the obvious reason that it's a safety issue, but it is a very interesting piece. Pretty much all metal construction again, except for the safety piece on top. Yeah, all right, that's definitely metal. <laughs> Neat little trick, if you put your teeth on something, you can feel whether it's plastic or, or wood or, or metal, whatever. There is a distinctive difference in that, but I'm not saying go ahead and put everything in your mouth because some things can be dirty. Use some common sense there. But after doing that little tip, I do feel like that's metal too. So let's say all metal construction on this. But yeah, it's interesting, it's fun. Again, once you get the, uh, the hang of it, it could be a fun little life, you know? Definitely a cool collectible, not a workhorse. Although it is safe, it's just gonna dull out on you. Again, you know, 3CR13 is, is nothing to write home about. However, it did come fairly sharp. It was uh, cleanly slicing paper when I got it. Did a little bit of cardboard uh, testing with it. EDC'd it, cut a couple things just randomly, you know, while EDCing it. Again, besides the clip position and that, that safety issue, I just didn't like, you know, how it was when it's in the, uh, the clipped position. There's just too much sticking out there. It's kind of awkward. There's no lanyard hole here. Not that I don't think you'd put a lanyard on here, but just just kind of weird sticking out like that. So that's it. That's my uh, opinion on this Sangia mechanical folder. 100% gimmick, but I got to admit, it's a cool gimmick. I really like it. Fun little knife. Not extremely usable, but definitely fun to play with. So let me know your opinions down below. Like I said, this is nothing new to the knife community or YouTube or anything. This thing's been around a while. I'm just you know arriving at the party late, <laughs> but... uh. You know, still enjoying stuff like this. I want to get the word out for anyone who had not seen this before. Like I said, just interesting. I like unique things. It kind of reminds me of the CRKT Rolock, you know, from back in the day. Some of my favorite CRKT knives. Um, just because they're interesting. They utilize a track in the blade. On the CRKT, it's totally different. You pop the blade up and then slide it forward and then it locks in place. But even though it's completely different mechanisms, they still both utilize a track system. So again, you can see how this thing works. Very simple, closed position, and then it stops here as a little resistance, you just pinch that together. All right, and it does have quite a bit of force to get that together. Uh, I would imagine over time that may weaken a little bit because it is, you know, kind of pressure fit. So with lots and lots and lots and lots of opening and closing, it might not hold as well over time. I don't know, you'd have to do it a couple thousand times for that thing to loosen up. I, I have to say, since I've gotten this, I probably open and close this hundreds of times. Um, and I don't have any issues with it loosening, but anything that's going to be pressure fit like that eventually will loosen. But yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think of this knife. But for under five bucks, if you happen to already be ordering, it's a pretty cool little thing to, uh, to throw in there. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time as always. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Take care.